One thing that I wanted to share with you today, among other things, when I was thinking of sports and Sri Lanka, and sports and Sri Lanka as a nation, there I always saw mismatch. Honourable Minister, there was no coordinated effort as far as Sri Lanka as a nation and the activities of sports. Country should technically have a country strategy in terms of positioning in our world of marketing. For the pur purpose of positioning, country also should have a differentiation strategy. To differentiate a nation from another, sports has been very cleverly used by those clever nations and those nations have not just excel in their respective fields of sports, but also as countries. Now, it is only proper for me to use this stage to mention when this young Tilan and them are trying to come up with concepts like Silk Awards, this for me is a super branding effort for the field of sports. But how come as a country we do not have a coordinated effort where we are using sports to build this brand image of the nation? It is not an item in the agenda of the nation but an integral part of a nation building exercise. So sports, whichever it is, some sports may be more, strate more strategically important, some may be not so, in terms of building Sri Lanka as a brand. But if you pick up a few sports, it is my belief that at a lowest cost, you can use that to differentiate our nation from the rest of the nations. As we all know, the size of the nation or size of the country does not really matter when it gets into the field of sports. My friend Arjuna is a good example. We fought with large nations and won. So it is evident and clear that we can use sports for the benefit of positioning this nation. I've been thinking about it a lot. So sometimes I think this is due to the fact that Sri Lanka as a country does not have a positioning and branding strategy. That is true. Among other things, as we say in Australia, Sri Lanka does not have strategies full stop. However, having said that, if we all wait till the Sri Lanka comes up with their own strategy, we will not be able to ever contribute. So we have to intervene where we can and do our little bit. So sports is an area where we can jump in and put some efforts irrespective of whether the country has a national strategy or not. I think our minister will take these thoughts seriously because a concentrated, strategically planned uh, effort can put this country from the perspective of the world as a worthwhile member in the game of the world. So may it be tourism, may it be exports, may it be the other activities we do, this can help us to build and improve the quality of our image as a nation. Sri Lanka needs that support. Sri Lanka has to be seen as a positive player in the world. We cannot be seen as a negative entity. When we promote tourism, example, 
We need that support. It is not an isolated area when we call it sports. So the spillover effect of the a rich sports culture of this country can help improve the quality of our brand Sri Lanka. So having said that, this is just a thought that I wanted to quickly share with my friends because this could be explored easily without any cost and since it is little too technical, not so many people will disturb you also. And since it does not have any other elements, or other people will not be interested also. So you can uh, use these concepts and help Sri Lanka to grow. This is a time that Sri Lanka needs uh, support from everybody. And you can support more. And at a lowest cost, it will help our brand Sri Lanka to be stronger and uh, I believe that all of you will help Sri Lanka to get to the, its deserving position in the map of the world.